some presence around her, a spirit or a ghost, she doesn't really know. Something living between our world and the other side. Beyond tells Jodie's story over 15 years of her life. We will see her growing, evolving, learning to live with a difference, and discovering more about what's beyond. For the first time in a video game, we will live the life of a character, go with her through happy and difficult times, and help her to become who she is. We have much to reveal about the game in the coming months, but today I want to share with you a very important element of Beyond. The name of the actress playing the role of Jodie Holmes. I was looking for a talented young actress, someone who could embody Beyond's lead role in a very unique way. And I'm proud to announce that Jodie Holmes will be played by Academy Award nominee Ellen Page. Ellen delivered a stunning performance, something I've never seen in a game before. She is the most incredible Jodie Holmes I could dream of. And I'm sure that all gamers will instantly fall in love with her. What you're going to see now is one of the first scenes of the game. And of course, everything runs in real time. Ma'am. Ma'am. Do you hear me? You understand me? You speak English? I, uh, brought you that cup of coffee. I found you by the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? Look, I, I want to help you. But you gotta give me something. Anything. How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family, friends, someone who could tell me who you are. If you don't help me, I can't help you. Oh, I get nowhere. Is that a scar? Is that a reason? To I'm gonna go back to my desk. Check the missing persons list. You stay here. I'll be right back. If you need anything, I'll, I'll be just outside. Oh, wow. 
What's going on? I you brought it earlier. Where is she? I think they get the message. Beyond will be unlike anything you have experienced before. It will be emotional, mature, and unique but also epic, breathtaking, and spectacular. We want to create unique moments that players will remember for a long time. We invite you to a unique journey in the life of Jody Holmes, and if you make the right decisions, maybe you will discover what lies beyond. Thank you. Simply incredible, David. Thank you so much. The PS3 is in its sixth year of its life cycle, and it continues to shatter expectations by giving developers the industry's most powerful palette to create from. Only on PlayStation 3 will you see the high-definition cinematics, rich storytelling, and huge action that we just witnessed with Beyond. And only on PlayStation will you find some of the industry's most iconic characters, characters with the depth and emotion of Jody Holmes, the newest member of the PlayStation family. Over the past two decades, you've stormed beaches, explored new lands, and discovered ancient treasure with them. If you're a member of the PlayStation Nation, there is one name that should have particular meaning for you. Michael. That's right. Last fall, hidden in a faraway place, a room full of the most popular heroes, from PlayStation Universe raised their glasses in a toast to Michael. In fact, the Michael spot became the most viral tech video of all time, more than 10 million views in its first week. And if you're like me, you probably wondered what happened 30 minutes after that toast. Some of them decided it would be fun for them to fight together, and some of them even decided it would be more fun to fight each other. How the battle turns out is up to you in our newest title, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale.
I'm Chan Park from Superbot Entertainment. When our team first announced PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale in late April, we were overwhelmed with the tremendous positive response the game received. Um, as details of our game became available, we heard from a number of you that thought that this would be a perfect game for the Vita, and we could not agree more. So today, I'm thrilled to announce that All-Stars will be available for Vita and will be cross-compatible with PS3. So to give you a demonstration of cross-play and Vita gameplay, I'm going to turn it over to a few of our All-Stars, including Omar Kendall, our game director. Thanks, Chan. So we've got four players, two on the PlayStation 3, Paul and Mike. Paul will be playing as Kratos, Mike will be playing as Sweet Tooth. We also have two players on the PS Vita, Ed and Ray Ray. Ed will be playing as Fat Princess, and Ray Ray will be playing as Sly Cooper. So these characters will be fighting each other, and they'll be building up this energy. Uh, this energy powers a super attack. Uh, these super attacks are how our players score points. And the goal of the game at the end of our three-minute match is to have the most amount of points. Uh, I'm going to talk you through a, a match really quick. We'll be playing on Metropolis from the Ratchet and Clank universe. Each character has a different approach to the match. Uh, characters like Kratos and Fat Princess are more melee-centric, so you'll see them get into the mix of things, do a lot of combos and hard-hitting attacks. You've got characters like Sweet Tooth, who has a more patient game. He can lay mines and perform shotgun attacks, and you'll see him do that throughout the match. He's able to generate a lot of this energy while he's fighting. Then, of course, we have Sly Cooper. He does a lot of sneaking and invisibility. He does a lot of stealing from the other players, and he'll do that primarily to collect his AP. So already we're about 30 seconds into the match, and Sweet Tooth is already working on a level one super. He seems a, a fair bit ahead of the other characters right now. He's holding on to that super. Let's see, it looks like he might be going for a level two super. Each super is progressively stronger than the last. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're also better at scoring points. It looks like Fat Princess and Sly Cooper now are also at the level one super range, and now Kratos is there as well. So you'll start seeing supers going off. There you see Kratos on the board early, just got a kill on Fat Princess. He's already working on regenerating that level one super. It looks like Sweet Tooth has now crested over. He does have his level two super. Oh, and you see Capricorn. Oh, and it's the Hydra from God of War. That famous first boss fight from the original God of War 1 on the PlayStation 2. Periodically, those Hydra will interact with the match, and the players will have to pay attention to that. And it does look like Sweet Tooth is holding a lot of meter right now. I think he's probably going to go for a level 3. Kratos just tried a level 1 super and didn't, wasn't successful in getting any kills. Fat Princess also has a level 2. Is she going to fire that off, or is she going to try to go for a level 3? Let's see. She does go for a level 2 super fat chicken. She's going to go for some kills. The other players have to avoid her now. Nope, Sweet Tooth could not get away. She's going to try to get a kill on Kratos. She does get a kill on Kratos and on Sly Cooper. That was a great level 2 super for Fat Princess. She got three kills. Meanwhile, Sweet Tooth still seems to be working towards his level 3 super. Kratos has tried a level 1 on Sly Cooper, but Sly Cooper did manage to get away. Sly Cooper also looks like he just pressed it over into his level 2 range. Let's see if he uses that now or if he holds on to that as well. All right, it does seem like Sweet Tooth did get his level 3 Super Mecha Tooth. It's an extremely powerful level 3 Super. His firepower is drastically increased. He does manage to take out what looks like all three opponents. Let's see if he can score again. He does manage to get Kratos. Looked like a really good, successful level 3 Super for Sweet Tooth there. He got about four kills. Meanwhile, it does look like Sly Cooper is going to try that level 2. Let's see if he gets any kills. He does manage to get Sweet Tooth. Not the best use of level 2 super, they only managed to get one kill with that. That's a pretty expensive super to only get one kill. Here we are in the last 30 seconds of the match now, it looks like that princess is perhaps working again towards a level 2. Oh, Quark just got taken out there by the Hydra. Kratos back at that level 1 super, let's see if he tries to use it. He does use it, but does not manage to get any kills, and there Fat Princess does manage to collect two kills with the level 